Hey guys, welcome. My name is MC. Today I'm sharing with you the different career paths we have in the beauty industry. So when I say beauty, I'm talking about hair, nails, makeup, skincare, you know, beauty related stuff. So uh, I am a makeup artist, so I probably will stress and emphasize more on that part of the um, the industry, just makeup, artistry, makeup artistry. So um, most of the things I know now, I you know, I didn't have no, anybody to you know tell me, research, guide me on how to go about. It. I just figured that okay, makeup makeup artistry was what I wanted, and I went for it. But I didn't know that it was over the years I realized that oh, I could also do this. I could also take like, multiple sources of income and then make it a bit more sustainable. And then my passion as well was working with what I love to do, like something that gives me joy. So um, the beauty industry is valued at five hundred and eighty-two billion dollars as at 2019 and it's projected to be valued at um, two, uh, 802 billion dollars by um, 2023 so this is like an holistic view just so you to have an idea of how profitable the beauty industry is internationally I'm not talking about beauty generally not so I'm not taking out a particular aspect so it's a multi-billion dollar industry and it just makes sense for you to just begin to look at it's sustainable now so i've gone as those things so you're just a makeup artist and cannot get by now you can you can actually you know it's a full-fledged career it has become something that you can do and make money and you know build out do good stuff for me. so um first of all i don't want this video to drag so just go, go to the point i'm going to be using um i probably will be reading off you know my phone and you know sharing with you as I go on. So the first thing, you, first career option that I knew is being a face painter. So face painter is you can work at children's party, you can do carnivals, whatever works for you. But you, you must have like the flair for painting. You must have artistry at your own DNA because that's the essence of the, you know, painting drawings and all that. Then next, you move to mortician. Morticians are people that take care of dead bodies. So if you have mind and you feel like oh you're not, you're very bold, you're, you nothing scares you you can consider becoming a magician and you work with funeral houses so you know that's another option the pay is quite good as well but it's a personal thing then you have bridal makeup artists so bridal makeup artists is you work with brides you work with the bridal train you work with the bride family popular you know this is like the one a lot of makeup artists like to do because the pay is actually very attractive uh you get to you know flex on your job and um most times you're working with professional photographers, you're working with a lot of professionals, so it's it's actually very easy. Um, and then you also can have addi additional um, um, income because you're going to be doing the bridal train, you're going to be one of the bride, so you do it with bride friends, and also you are pretty much busy on that day, taking money left, right, center. So this is um, that. Um, so that means that if you have a choice and you want to stick with bridal makeup artists, yes, you can. It's sustainable, but that means you have to market yourself and get bright almost every, every every weekend so that you know you're not not making no money. So we have freelance makeup artists. So freelance makeup artists are people that actually you know work on their own. They don't have a boss. You know, they just freelance. So you can actually have a niche under this freelance makeup artist. So you say we must become a brother makeup artist, a freelance brother makeup artist, and then that's just what we will be doing. So, but the idea of freelancing is that you're not, you're, you don't have a studio. You don't have, you're just a free bird. You understand? So you don't have a studio. You don't have anybody you're committed to. So when a client calls you and books you. So when a client calls to book, they are booking directly. They don't have to go through any middleman. You know, they are going, they're talking to you directly. And you're giving them your rates straight up, and then you know that's it. So the film and te television. So film and television is, um, say for instance, you are working on production sets, and it's a little bit different. So for film and television, and then under this film television, you also have these kind of videos and you know videos stuff that have to do with you know yeah cameras and all that. So for Film, television, you can work with news, news house, you can work with um, a particular project, say for instance, all these projects, fame, all that. You need somebody who's constantly going to be doing their makeup. If you're not, or if you're not the type of person that have like work under pressure, or you like uh, moving from one location to the other, or you, you know, working long hours because sometimes you, you be on set for longer. So you, these are all the things you need to consider. Personally, I don't like this part of the job. I don't, I'm not, I tried it, you know, for a while, but it just wasn't me. I, I hate staying out late night for musical videos i you know so what well, just just not my kind of thing so you know but if it fits your spec you know I don't. so another one is one with fashion makeup this is me like i like to be um around models where you know the structures are crazy high cheekbone you know very 
um, launching, we like to do. I've worked with Ed Makeup Artists, Dave um, and then we've had some um, fashion shows we have done together. Uh, you need to be on your feet, you need to be able to think, you need to be fast, you know, and then you must love to work with models. I like, then the designers too, you know, they can wake up one morning and say, oh, this is the mood board, and then next day they are changing it. So you have to be very quick, and if you cannot work on a project, this is not for you. If you cannot work in a crowded place where there are a lot of people making noise, changing, shouting, then this is not for you. So if you like your environment controlled, you know, you have your space ahead, then this, this is not an option. But for fashion makeup, you're on your go, you have created looks, and then the looks are not the regular um, everyday look. It can be anything, you can be asked to create anything. So, you know, anything crazy, that's why I call fashion, you know. So, I like this part of it. That's uh, this is another part that I play as well. Print editorial makeup, so print editorial makeup is a bit different from every other uh, makeup application because you know, we are working with a paper print, so you know, the way it will come out, the way the, you know, it's a lot of technicality. So, if it's something if it looks like you like to do editorial shoes, you like to do this is your your thing, you know, but, but if you're not interested in doing still pictures, etc., then you know, find your colleague. So, this is this is not your thing. So, with print editorial makeup, you can actually work with a magazine house, you can work with a, you know, so those kind of paper, you know, that's your that's your area, that's your field. Then we have celebrity makeup artists. So when we talk about celebrity makeup artists, here you are not a celebrity. So the makeup artist is a makeup artist to a celebrity. You know, so a celebrity can be, say, for instance, an entertainer, a movie star, um, a musician. So that's a celebrity. So you are the makeup artist to the celebrity, Jonathan. So the the most times you you know we are in charge of their looks, you know, for red carpet, photo shoots, and all that. Um, this is because they are already used to looking a certain way and then they don't want to get another makeup artist who's going to be doing try and error you know so people like um kim kardashian already have somebody that don't make up for her on regular like um mario then beyonce to have her uh, kind of like have somebody who does our own makeup on the steady so sir john so if you can afford to you know if you feel like that's your you know you're in sync with a particular celebrity and you're just okay with just creating our looks all the time and that's that's a that's it, you know, that's that's another option you can consider. Then another one is special effects. So special effects makeup artists is they do all the scar, you know, age age you, they do um, blood, they do you know, so this is a bit more graphic, you know. So um, I know that in this field you have people like Lola Maja, you have Akim Effect, you have um, a lot of people, you know, playing this field. So I think if you feel like this is what you want to do, why don't you intern or you know you find a way of connecting with the people that are already doing it and then you can actually bring you on board, you know, and then, you know, because this is very, very niche. Not every day that you have people doing um, um, uh, blood, blood scar, all those things. So it's just for movies and maybe documentaries and, you know, you know whatever. So just be sure that you are in, in touch with the people that actually do this often so that you can, you know, be sure that it's what you want to do for the rest of your life. So then we have... Um, Spa salon makeup artists. So for spa salon makeup artists, uh, what they do basically help you with your looks. Like for instance, when you have gone in to do um, body massage and you need to get your eyebrow fixed, they do that for you. You need to get it waxed, they do that for you. You need to get it treaded, they do that for you. So it's another opportunity, but they, they, they are also makeup artists, but what, they, what, what is different is that they work in a spa or a salon, which does not require them doing full glam all the time. I think you understand what I'm saying. So then we'll move on to the next one, which is the product development. Product development is um, most times the brand owner, maybe hair, makeup, nails, whatever, are like the ones in charge. They want to develop a product line to fit the market. But by the way, with product development, you, instead of developing products that you feel will sell, listen to the market and let the consumer detect what, you know, you can go ahead and pro. So you have to do a bit of research. So if, for instance, everybody is having issues with their eyebrow and you can come up with a product that can help them draw the eyebrow and be on for the whole day, why not? Or maybe something that can, you know, keep the skin matte for a long time because we have our weather, which is very hot, you know, so you can come up with a mattifier that is going to give you 24 hours madness why not so you know you need to look at what people need to before you create you know as against you creating a product and not trying to market and get you know so you it will work that way as well but then it, it takes a lot of you know time effort money before you can now find a market for that but if there's a ready-made market where people are already looking for a particular product you know why not go listen to that and then create that product and then you know you could service the market and make your money
Next, we have educators. Educators are people that actually like to teach. You know, it can be hair, educators, makeup, educators, new. You just teach in that capacity to pass knowledge onto um, a newbie, somebody who's new. So, if you feel that that's where you have your strength, why not? So, for educators, you can have your studio, you know, and have them or have your space, and that will come to you to come train. Or you can move it online. It's okay, I want to have an online class, you know, and then you have time, you know, maybe whatever platform you want to host it on, Zoom. Um, you want to do it on WhatsApp, whatever works for you. And then another way you can also do it is if you want to become an educator and you don't want to spend so much money on, you know, or to, incurring so much cost, you can also have master classes. So, for instance, you are based in Port Harcourt or you are based in Abuja and you don't want to, you feel like everybody won't be able to make it down to Abuja to come and learn from you. You can have a master class. You say, okay, yeah, like a five day master class. So, you know that January, February, you're going to be in Lagos doing the master class. Um, um, March, April, you're going to be in Port Harcourt doing master class. Um, June, July, you're going to be in um, Ibaron, you know, so you are, you are touching points with uh, areas where there's a lot of demand. So instead of them coming to you, you are the one taking the training to them. So you work out what works for you for the educator, you know, it's an option. Then another, then another one is beauty editor, writer, blogger, you know, content creator. So here we have people that actually go ahead and they, they write you. They can talk about how to, they can create content as well as um, 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 the ingredient list, whatever. It's, it's endless. So but what they do is they kind of like shine spotlight on the brand and talk about it and, you know, people read about it and they, they understand what the product is about. You understand what I'm saying? So these people are, they're totally not your regular. It's a job that just came up. It's a career that, Five years ago, we didn't have bloggers in demand like they are now, or influencers in demand like they are now, content creators in, in, like they are now. So content creators is from influencers. Influencers are people that are popular, that or people that actually have influence on people's buying decision. You know, they influence in one way or the other. So if I come up and say, oh, this product is nice, a lot of people buy because I've said it's nice, and then they trust me, it's nice. But a content creator is somebody who just takes that product and creates content maybe beautiful photographs maybe write a write a blog post about it. so that's the difference between content so you can be a content creator and not have influence you know and not be an influencer or you know, or you can also be an influencer and not be a content creator so you look for what works for you so so next we have influencers influencers are actually very powerful um in, in uh, right now you know because they help you you know with that like the modern day uh, digital adverts you know as against the traditional old school way um adverts so for influencers it's a lot of work it's a new terrain so people still you know they're dabbling into it so i, I mean a lot of people think oh yeah influencer, yeah, influencer no you know i can't even say i'm an influencer really i can really say okay i create content you know about with my own with my own platform you know youtube uh, my blog you know on instagram and the likes my social media but i cannot say that i'm an influencer in that right because i I, yeah, I might have influence on people just who, yeah, I might have influence on people buying decisions, but then uh, do I control influence in millions and, you know, not yet? So, uh, so uh, it's something that, you know, you have to understand. Influencing is different from content creation, you know, so you know where you're playing. To, to get to that point of so become an influencer, it takes a lot, you know, it takes a lot. Some people, you know, it takes a lot. So you have to read up on it and then know what you, if, if that's the space you want to play, all right? Our career path, we have a mobile brand rep. So mobile brand rep is saying, um, I, for instance, I have, I'm working with Mac, and Mac needs brand rep. So I apply, and then I buy their products. I don't have a store. I just, you know, I'm mobile, I'm freelancing. So I can buy the product of them, and then resell if I want to. Do you understand? Like, something like that. So it's not like you have a mobile store, but you, so I show you, tell how to use it, and then you buy it off me, and then I make money. So I'm like a mobile brand representative rep for that particular brand. Next, we have beauty retailers. Beauty retailers are people that you know they have different brands in store. They stock different beauty brands. So uh, an example is Wholesale Beauty Hub, uh, Mecca Beauty, Dupi Dupi. You know, these people have. Um, stores that people can actually walk in, physical stores that people can actually walk into and then they buy. You know, they buy in volume and then, you know, they, they have different brands. So it's not just one thing that they sell. So they have different brands. So you can walk into the studio, buy, and they, they, they like I said, they have different brands. So you, have, you can walk in and see multiple brands. So they are beauty retailers. Anything you want to ask, you, you can get it from their skin, hair. You know. So that's that about this one. The other one is PR agency. So I know if you have a passion for, you know, journalism or marketing or PR, you know, press, you know, all those things, uh, you can consider this as a career 
Uh, I know Glam Agency actually does this. Fantastic job as well as Mrs. Bola Balu. You know, I, I've, I've worked with her on some project and, you know, fantastic. She's very professional. So you can also consider, you know, taking a, a career, you know, and, and, and out of just doing PR, being like a PR agency, if you have the time too, but you cannot afford to do have big work too. If you are going to do it, do your research and make sure that you're coming out, you know, doing it well. Personal shopper. So personal shopper is somebody who says, okay, I want to have this particular look. Like I want to have this Beyonce look. What, what, what do I have to buy? So she says, okay, you have to buy this product, this product. I mean, and then she's working with your budget. So if you say you have one millionaire for makeup, for instance, you get your products that will work at that rate. And if you say, okay, I have 30,000 naira, she will also you know, work with your budget and then get you that, um, what that money can actually, you know, get you. So personal shoppers actually, you know, work with your own budget and your own taste and then they come up with, you know. So you can, as a makeup artist, you can actually do that. You know, for shop for hair, for makeup, for skin, for nails, you know, just shop for them generally. That's another career. So you can also be a social, you can also be a social media manager. So if you like to, you know, do social like you are always on instagram you, know, you feel like you can you know post or well, represent a brand well you know how to do the algorithm you know you know your hashtag you know how to write caption you know those, those things come to you easily you know some people struggle with that so if you feel if you feel like those things come to you easily why not you can add that to your career um, uh, optional career or multiple just something you can be doing on the side and making money so you can become a social media manager and then make money as well right you can also decide to have your own brand become a brand beauty brand owner okay so basically becoming a beauty brand owner is you want to you know come up with a product line you want to be able to push the product line to the market and sell make profit you know and everybody's happy but it's not as easy as it sounds becoming a beauty it's not as it's not that easy <laughs> but the the, the start truth is not as easy as it sounds you have to have it it takes a lot of hard work, you know, you are, you are the, when you're starting out, you're the PR manager, you're the sales girl, you're the delivery person, you're everything old in one, you know, except you have money, you know, to do it on a large scale. But I always advise that you start small so that when you make your mistakes, you can actually correct them quickly and then, you know, always upscale. Do you understand? So, but you start big and you're making mistakes at that level, you're going to be running to millions. So just start small, go it, you know, and then you get to that. So become a beauty brand owner, you know, it's, 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 it's what everybody not everyone look at becoming a beach brand owner is 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 it's a personal thing if you feel like you have the strength you have the time you have the money you have the energy you know why not why but if you feel you don't have because we don't you like for for this particular part of the business you, nobody can drive the business like you would drive it you know so if you understand what you want to hear here i want to have your own airline want to have your own makeup line want to have your own new line want to have your own whatever it is you want to own as a brand owner you know it's going to marketing distribution you know did, did a lot of things that are involved so you don't want to just tie yourself think about it you know thoroughly and then you know if it fits your personality or it still looks like what you want to do, then you can go ahead. Another option is to have your own beauty studio. So only your own beauty studio is you have a space where people can actually come in and have their services done. You know, say for instance, I have you have a salon, you have um, nail spa, you have a nail studio or a spa or a makeup studio. People can actually walk into it. The stuff is currently get their makeup or get their hair done or whatever. You know, you own a space, you're managing the day-to-day -day operation of that space and, you know, it gives you a bit of structure. So you know that when you wake up 9 o'clock, you have to be at the studio at 11 o'clock and you're leaving. You know, so let's say you are closing for 5 o'clock, you know, people come in, make money. There's a structure to it. It's not that like freelance, that like you wake up in the morning and, you know, if you don't have a booking, you can actually relax and lounge, you know. So that's another thing. So... Um, there are also corporate jobs in the beauty industry. So, for instance, now you want to get a um, studio manager. Studio manager is not going to be involved with application. Mm -hmm. Studio manager is probably the work person that is doing the everyday to day um, um, operations uh, and then, you know, the back end, you know, making sure that there's enough well in the generator, making sure that the products are merchandising at some point, making sure that inventory is taken, making sure that goods are delivered, you know, like just managing the whole store. So that goes beyond having makeup application skill. It has to be that you love management or you love to do stuff like this. So you can apply based on that level. So for instance, when you have an house of Tara who's open another branch in maybe, um, the, for instance, they are open another branch in um, Joss and they, they need a brand manager. You can apply for that because, you know, that's what you're going to be doing. So you don't have to necessarily be the person doing the makeup. You can be controlling the day-to-day -day activity, you know, 
like that stuff like that you can also decide that you want to be running events trade shows exhibitions i know somebody who currently does that pop concept that's Lola, and she does a fantastic job she makes it look very easy but trust me it's not as easy as it seems you know it's a lot of hard work sleepless nights you know she works with a perfect team you know she, so if you don't have all that um you, you can work under pressure you know, like to travel they don't think i don't even consider this at all you know but if you if you feel like oh it's because it's it's it's, a, it's always evolving you know every day every every location is different every client is different so you know if you feel like you have the uh, strength to do this then why not then another one you can also consider is also um to organize um campaigns so if you you know beauty brands that are putting doing campaigns you can actually approach them and so let me help you manage the event and then you can actually do that and get paid for that um, i do a bit of that as well so but it's not something that comes up every day it's not so once you have it, it gives you enough time you do deliver on it and then you move on so you can consider that as well you can also consider being a chem um, cosmetic chemist so cosmetic chemist is you know, you're checking out the ingredients the reaction we must have a science background we must understand physics chemistry you know, about chemistry you know, because those are very important um subject or um, yeah subject that you need the, the knowledge to run in that in that particular space so if you don't have it forget it just go and do your application generally another thing you can also do is can become a beauty business consultant so this one is uh, i hear people tosses around anyhow consultant, consultant. so consultants really are people that have experience i mean if you are going to be working with a consultant work with people that have experience so um because they are going to guide you in the way to go so um what they're doing basically is like the journey of 10 years to just become like shortened to two years because what they do for you is they guide you on how to go about um the business itself the beauty business itself so you don't make a lot of mistakes you know so you save from making losing a lot of money you know so that's that's what so you feel like this looks like you and you're you're a strategic thinker you know you like to think of how to push a brand how to you know market a brand you know, you know. so this is how this is this is a space you can actually play in you know so becoming a beauty photographer or a product stylist so beauty photographer is you already have you already do the makeup application anyway so you can decide to take photograph professional headshots you know those kind of thing or birthday shoot or whatever and then you get paid for it you know so why not i mean steal your space and you already have a camera so just add that to what you do or you can also do product styling product styling is you know you flat lays beautiful flat lays you can take pictures you know of the products you know in a way that they look beautiful appealing and people can post on social media so that's another um, career option you can also become a lash eyebrow specialist um now we know people do a lot of uh, microblading and if you get four or five customers in a week you're okay so that's 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 profitable or you do semi-permanent lash as well you know so you have a specialized um specialized field you know, like maybe just do eyebrow eyelash and you're good to go so you don't have to do the application if you don't want to so that's another thing to consider or you can also learn how to do waxing trading you know add it to your services and then that people can actually book you you know that's another thing then you can also become a nail tech so you know i fix a lot and my nail messed up and damaged you can actually become a nail tech and then help people with what they can use to grow the nails or even produce products that can be fixed that or you can become a nail um, artist so you know all those design and they draw false nails you know so you can just you know decide to do that as your own niche and people can actually book you because they know you are going to come up with creative crazy nail design all the time another one is test dermatologist is another career you can consider so this is skin doctor you know now job you know you have to go to school study how the skin works and all that so if you want to do that you can begin to consider that now and then you take a course or take a six months course and then people actually pay you for that and another very lucrative um, career path you can consider uh, i know a lot of people actually do this now but I, I, the only way you can start out in this uh, field is to actually take trainings and then you know, certifications and then so that people can actually trust that because they're they ensuring they are they're they're they trusting you with their skin so it's not i need to know that you're a trained person you understand how it works so certifications will help i'm um, going to tr school to train or learn you know taking courses can actually help as well um daily artists 
Gilead is another very lucrative, you know, I know people that do just gilet and they are comfortable. Uh, some do gilet, mix it with auto gilet and they are comfortable. You know, some do gilet um, and makeup. So whatever works for you, whatever the dynamics is, just stay there. But I'm just giving you the option. So I know people also even do the gilet training and then they are, they are well off. You know, some people also, uh, aside from packaging training online, they have also been able to do auto gilets and then they sell. So whatever works for you. So just consider, sit down with it. You know, just know your strength and then just sit down with it and do what you feel will work for you another one is becoming a hair stylist or, uh, or barber so for the hair stylist you can actually have a niche like i have somebody the person that does my lock just does locks her name is chaka so um I, and then and i know other people that just you know i've decided that okay for this hair industry i'm going to have a niche so they do natural hair like yellow cc like kemi lewis just do natural hair in move they don't they're not concerned with any other because there was a time i wanted to actually go call around they're like you know what this is our call but if you come in because i know you i can do but that is not where they are so it's better for you to say okay if you if it's what you want to do it's doable there's, there's actually um a demand for it so you can have a niche you know natural hair texturized hair um dreadlocks and all that so then baba you know cut hair you know you can you can take that up as well you know so you can be doing home services come to studio whatever works for you but that's another option you can consider colorist so now that we have a lot of people trying out different colors you know december we play a lot of copies that are you know with that um funk and then they have this gold touch to it you know i'm sure that color is made a lot of money last year people that sell color color they must have made a killing because everybody in lagos has that touch of gold to their head so um th that's also a like a new um, career that people are actually making money from becoming a colorist so but you need to you know understand take time you know, do your own research understand how color works the color theories and all that and then because you're dealing with human hair you also need to do a bit of trial and error before you can now if you're not that good before you can also want to you know just go straight to color people's hair but that's an option but that's but that's another option to consider become a full-time colorist then wig maker you know that's another so if you're in the hair business you can just you know have a mission aside from selling the hair you're making them into wigs so um you understand what I'm aside from selling the hair extensions you're also making the hair into wigs and you're selling so that's another you know or they can bring the older and then you model to another style and then you make it to wigs and you know so whatever whatever works for you but wig making is another money spinner so we can also become a merchant or a retailer you know we have a lot of people that do that now we have this one a car we have so a lot of people sell hair so it just goes to show that it's very profitable and then an average uh, lagos girl doesn't even they don't have just and then an average lagos just don't, they don't have one hair they have like five you know different designs and style and texture so it is always going to be profitable and then you don't want to be stuck with one particular look like for some of us that are comfortable just you know we're not so into hair but some people are very into hair bone strays you know um kinky you know so that's another very profitable venture then we have uh, the matter therapist you know you can also you know people are becoming open to that you know or like before when people say oh nobody can touch me but people actually allow to do massage for them now you know, so you can consider just having a niche in that field as well you, you can consider that as well then we have cosmetic dentists so these ones are the ones that do teeth whitening you know you can also consider doing a taste that is teeth whitening you know, so you do not really have to end the services alone you, know, you can do product as well so you can have a tooth that is just teeth whitening or whatever works in and then that's another career path then um dietitian you can be helping brides to be with their diet to lose weight or you can also consider becoming a gym instructor you know help them to have a four week loss weight loss plan before their um before their what's it called d day you know. but it's happy they get fit for their event and you know that's another career field to consider um formulator you know we help with the product formulation you know, like this is even developed from the product development formulation formulator the formulator is the person that actually formulates it like the texture the smell the, the, all those things involved so that's for formulator so you can actually check that the chemist most time just um they are under they are still under um cosmetic chemist because it's still the same almost the same thing that they are doing they are both coming up with product formulation so you can become a booking agent for instance you can say okay you want to get to 
me i will book you to get to the abc or you want to get a model to say okay this person i need this person on my campaign or my, or my hair campaign or my nail campaign or whatever so you can be uh, act as a booking agent i say okay i will book you this model this is how much you're charging i'll make sure she gets to you this is how much you pay you know and then you make your own money from that so but you can actually make money from becoming a booking agent um booking models booking makeup artists because like it's the norm now it's just normal people want to do photo shoots people want to use them for campaigns so you can make money by owning a modeling agency or you can work with modeling agency and then everybody's happy so so um so another career option is to become a sales rep or a receptionist we have a business that you know you can somewhere you can start off with you don't have um a makeup studio yet and you don't want to be idle you can work with a beauty brand you know and then you can work at their sales rep or you can work at their receptionist receptionist because they're, they're going to be like the face of the brand you're interfacing with the client so you get to network you get to meet a lot of people you know try out your product knowledge right there and then you know that kind of thing we also have customer care manager or uh, client manager so what they do is they manage the client like it says from you know to make sure that they are always ordering to make sure that um at every point in time they are they are to make sure that they are always placing order and then when even, even when they place the order they, their order gets to them on time you know they follow up and make sure they get it you know so just manage client generally you know then you have sales manager too so all these jobs are actually um, more um corporate so you have sales manager say for instance maybe lean nigeria is looking for a sales manager it's not your regular just application it's more technical it's so you are going from just the entry level job to a senior management position so sales sales management so if, if you have that experience and you want to work in the business field you still can you know so just don't, don't limit yourself to say okay I, I own a studio and you know that's that's not it so you can still work as a sales manager for a major brand then we have um cosmetic surgeon cosmetic surgeon are those that are <laughs> this is big business in america not in america alone i think you know europe as well so this is cosmetic surgery is you know, people doing botox the fillers you know, taking out wrinkles you know doing total face change lipo you know breast augmentation enlargement you know all sorts so you just a another but this you can't wake up until you want to do it must be something you're deliberate about so by the time you're finishing high school or you're finishing um um, secondary school and you're about to make uh, make it into the uni you can say okay this is what i want to do if you have science background and then you go into it and then you train you learn and then you graduate and become a cosmetic surgeon you know so that's another option you want to if you still like to play in the business space and you want to play as a cosmetic surgeon so you take that step you know so finally we have the we have the retail store manager so that's the last one so retail store manager is you know, you are in charge of the merchandise, you're in charge of the inventory, you are, you know everything that is there at every point in time, you know, so nothing is caught, you know, you're not caught off guard, you know, so and then you are under retail. So if I need 200 pieces of this in Cardona, you know, you're my go to person because you're the one in charge of retail. So and then you need to have a database of all the ret brand retailers, you know, all those kind of things. So it's still um, cinema um, level kind of job, you know, so you're not just somebody who doesn't have, even have. I asked me that I was okay. I want to put on shorts. You need to have proficiency with how to use a computer, you know, so because you're going to be working with a lot of Excel, you know, putting data, you know, all that kind of technical stuff. So, and that's that about it. I know I've not covered all the career options there are, and there are some jobs that I don't even have now that are still going to come up in the future, you know. So, uh, but if you have anyone that you feel like I've not spoken about, you can put it in the comment section below. And if there's anyone I have spoken about that you feel like, oh, you need a bit more clarification, let me know as well in the comment section. I would gladly do that. But I hope this was helpful. I don't know who needed to hear that. I hope this was helpful. So, if you if you are a makeup artist and you have done five, six years and you're feeling like, ah, oh, this is because that happened to me as well. At that point, I was like, there, this can't be all. There has to be more to make up than this. And at that point, because I've done a lot of doing, I mean, I've been there, done that. So I, it wasn't something that was, and you feel like, oh, yeah, at that point, you're stuck. You know, you need something new and exciting. So you can consider adding any of those options that I've said. You can still be applying makeup as your art core, still be doing your hair, nails, whatever, but you can still have you know other sites to you other options you know that you can take on and then making money from i try to cover the whole beauty industry so beauty saying hair makeup nails 
and skin and then every other part of it that has brand and every other branch that I did not mention. So um, please feel free to drop your comments, ask questions. Um, I would love to hear from you. I would love to you know, know what you think, if they are viable, if it's something you have done, you know, if you're if you are, if you are doing, if, you, if there are even things that you're doing currently, you know, and I'd love to hear from you. So to my next video, love.